Recently, while scrolling through Pinterest, I found this really cool project which really piqued my interest. Let me just play this video for you. As you can see, we have three images and when you hover over them, they sort of scale up, they rotate in sort of isometric or so view. And then when you hover over each individual card, they sort of push themselves up and looks pretty nice. I tried to replicate this using just CSS, no JavaScript at all. So here it is. So we have here three images. And when I go close, they sort of scale up in size. And when I hover over each individual one, they sort of push themselves upwards. It's a really cool and fun project. It's not that difficult to build. Really, really simple. The source code is in the description. So just can download and play with that. So without a delay, let's get started and let's learn to build this. So here I am in my index.html file with just broil plate and a little bit of styling to the body just so that uh, we can have a fixed wizard height, basically taking the entire screen, everything in the center using display flex and background as black. Now to have the actual content, now if you have already seen the demo, there's not much. We just have three images. When you hover, they sort of um, rotate and then in sort of like an isometric view or so. And then you can hover any of the one image and then it basically moves up. So for that, what do we need? We need a container, we need three images. These three images, all of them have the card class in common. And then each of the individual ones have card one, card two, and card three. So that's basically what we have for the HTML. Now for the styling, we can target the container. We can have the split flex with position relative, gap of 10 pixels, just so that each image has a 10, 10 pixels of gap from the other one. And then we want the container to have a fixed width and height. So we're gonna give it a 600 pixels of width and 600 pixels of height. And then just so that we can see everything in the black um, screens, we're just going to be giving it a border of one pixel. Now, as you can see that we have it till here and then the image start overflowing. So we're going to give styling to the image. We're going to give it a width of 400 pixels, height 300 pixels, object for this cover, and then a bit of border radius. Much better. Now, according to the design, we need everything at the center. So we're going to be using the card class and we're going to be giving it position absolute and we're going to place all the images at the very center using top 50 percent left percent transform translate as negative 50 percent on both axes when you save as you can see we have the third image showing up now what we're going to be doing is if you see the finished one i mean uh, the pinterest version you can see that um, there's one big uh, at the very front and then the other two are basically behind so what we have to do is first let's just give them a cursor of pointer and then the second card would be trans would basically translate a bit upwards same for the third one this one would be negative 90 percent and then this is how we can see now the z index of these are messed up since when you use absolute they get pretty messy. So what we have to do is we have to also add the index. But before that, if you see here, the one that's behind is a bit smaller in size and then same for the third one as well. So we're just going to be scaling down these cards as well. Let's save and yeah, looks better. The only thing that we have to do is we have to bring the bottom most at the very front. Then the second one would stay in the middle and then the last one would be uh, the one that's going to be at the very behind. So we start by giving z-index. The first one has z-index of 3. The second one has z-index of 2. And the third one, which is the last one, has z-index of 1. With that, the UI looks exactly like the one that we have here. Now what we have to do is when we hover, if you look at the finished one, when the user hovers or basically goes at least near the images, they sort of rotate. So this is the reason why we have this container. So whenever you move your cursor inside of this container, 
these three images would sort of rotate. So what we have to do is for that, we need perspective since this is not your standard rotate. So we need a perspective of 500 pixels and just add it to the container. And then when you hover the container, the first card, what happens is it basically rotates to negative 40 degrees. When I save, when I hover, you can see that it rotates. But then it's not just the rotate, the transform property also has these values, which we don't really want to change. So if you look here, the card already has the transform property of translate negative 50% and negative 50% on X and Y axis. So we need those intact here as well. So we need those as well as if you see the images, um, I think the size is almost same. So for the first one, the size of that is almost same. So we're just going to be keeping the scale as one, but we need to translate it a bit on the left side. So we, we're just going to be adding negative 80%. And now when I save, you can see that it looks better. Same way we're going to be doing for the second and the third one. The second one would have negative 60% and the third one would have negative 40%. And then second one would be a, a little smaller. We're going to be scaling down by 0 0.1. And then the third one would be scaled down by 0 0.2. The degrees are same. So when I hover, you can see that this looks almost same as the Pinterest one. So, um, yeah, so the rotation is working. It looks good. The next thing that we have to do is when you hover over the card, we need to basically push it upwards. So we can just have card hover, margin top as negative 50 pixels. So now let me just save it. Now when I hover, each of these just move up. Now you may think that um, this is okay, but then why does the animation look so jerky? The reason for that is we don't have any transition yet. So for that, we're just going to be adding 0 0.4 ease transition to the card. Let's save. And now when I hover, you can see it is way smoother. Looks pretty nice, right? Okay. Now there's one more step involved. Now if you see here, when the animation starts, the entire container sort of scales up in size as well. So what we have to do is we just add a transition to the container. Initially, we scale it down by 0 0.1. And then when we hover over the container, we just scale it back to normal, which is one. And now it looks exactly like the Pinterest version. Let's just remove the border. And there you have it. So we have this cool effect built using just CSS in a couple of minutes. The source code of this will be in the description and I'm going to be soon releasing this on DMAC as well. So stay tuned. If you guys haven't checked DMAC, it's a UI library for React and Next.js. The link of that in the, will be in the description so you guys can check that out. Do comment down below after using it if you liked it or not, which component was your favorite. And yeah, until then, meet you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care, and peace.